Are Whirlpool water softeners any good? Whirlpool water softeners have problematic electronic controls. Error code E5 means the control panel needs to be fixed or replaced. I'm sure the error could be caused by something else. You can try to unplug and reconnect the unit, push the button to recharge the unit or hit the reset button. And if that doesn't work, call tech support. Unfortunately, Whirlpool's technical support and customer service for water softeners is worse than it is for dishwashers and refrigerators. I think it is because they can blame it on the plumber or installer. Problems are sometimes caused by bad installation. If the salt storage overflow hose has been tied to the valve drain hose, the water softener will eventually overfill with water. And then there's the salt usage. Salt usage is going to vary based on your water hardness and how much water your family uses. You're as likely to see heavy salt usage because of a leak as you will for a technical problem. Do Whirlpool water softeners leak? The Whirlpool WHE20 model is horrible. It tends to develop really severe leaks. The leak may be in the toilet, but the water has to travel through the water softener. Or you might need to make sure you are using the right sized salt grains or resin. Whirlpool water softeners have error codes, but unless you have the user manual, you can't figure out what it means. Typical for a guy, not bothering to read the manual. Whirlpool water softeners are more prone to problems. They tend to retain water, leak, rust and break. Check the float assembly. When you add salt, the float assembly might get pushed up, causing the softener to retain water. The Whirlpool water softeners aren't worth the cost or the effort to maintain. There's a reason people hardly ever buy them.